I wanted to tell you about my very interesting night. Um, not that I'm very excited about it, but um, I'd rather just get it off my knees. Tell the story now while it's fresh versus later when I might forget some details. So as I'm walking out towards the patio, um, someone grabs my ass and lifts up my skirt. I'm wearing like a like mid-thigh skirt right now, okay? So um, that helps. And I, you know, I turn around and I see who it is and I'm just like looking at the person. I, I recognize the person, I see the person who comes on Thursdays, he's a supporter of the show in there on a regular on you know Fridays and whatever so I don't like get all crazy about it and I just look at him give him that look like mm -mm, not cool like you don't do that you know that that oh no you didn't look and I just turn around and walk away because you know you are at a club people are drinking people are on whatever and you, you don't it's just not worth it some things you just got to learn to let slide so that's one of those things because, and it's not like people have never seen my ass before, but you know, if it was someone I didn't recognize, maybe would have had a problem, whatever. <sighs> so I'm mingling, I end up standing in front of Red's bar at the back patio bar and I'm talking to someone and um, then the guy who pulled my skirt and someone else, they walk up to us and they stand all up in our personal and I am talking to my friend here and I'm like do you know this person because uh, I'm not too sure what's gonna happen right now because I don't I don't know and he's he's and he's like real up in my personal and just giving me that look like the stone look like I know like I did something wrong right so and he's like yeah that's my cousin and I'm like oh well and I didn't tell them what happened because it's not really any, you know, it, it, I didn't, at that point, didn't phase me. It was like, it happened, but like, we're moving on. So I didn't inform him of what happened. But at that point I did, I was like, oh, well, your cousin, as I was walking out here, you know, grabbed my ass and lifted my skirt. So I'm, I, you know, I'm kind of like not trying to like have a conversation with him right now. So he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, he was like, it's cool. You know, I, and I told him it's cool. Just, you know, just let's get him out of here. Like, let's just move him right along. This fool starts going off and the other guy's just completely quiet he's not saying shit um the other he starts going off he's like why are you, why are you disrespecting me why are you disrespecting me and i'm like still kind of ignoring it like whatever his friend which well, apparently is his other cousin leans over between us diagonally is like hey you know my name's trying to like disregard this fool he's fucked up he don't know what's going on so on and so forth so i'm like hey you know nice to meet you so on and so forth and he's like, why are you disrespecting me? Why are you disrespecting me? And at that point, you know, it's just, it's, it's like, it's this constant. Why are you disrespecting me? Why are you being like that? Why are you being disrespectful? And I, you know, me, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm actually trying to avoid the you know, situation because I already know that he's already to a point where he cannot be rationed with. I recognize that. So I just, I'm like, so at that point, I'm like, okay, but he's not going to stop. So I'm like, I'm not disrespecting you. I'm not disrespecting you. You disrespected me when I was walking out here. I reminded him of the situation when you grabbed my ass and lifted up my skirt. I mean, that was when you disrespected me. So I am going to act like that didn't happen and we'll just be on our way. No problem. It's like, well, I don't know why you think that people have to treat you a certain way. I'm, I'm not giving, you know treating you any I'm like I'm not asking for anyone to treat me anyway I'm asking for the same respect that you would give anyone else at this club which would mean for you to get out of my face out of my personal and just really back up because you're really you know all up here he's like well I don't know who you think you are I'm like it's not about who I think I am I am someone here having a, and having a good time trying to enjoy myself just like anybody else at this club. And if you would have grabbed anyone else's ass and lifted up anyone else's skirt, you probably would have gotten smacked, if not worse. So I'm not asking for any special treatment or anything. I'm just asking for you to treat me the way you should be treating anybody at this club. And he wasn't having it. Apparently I was wrong because I thought I needed special privileges. I needed special treatment. Well, I, you know, his cousin's like apologizing. This other cousin's apologizing. He is going off. I'm like, you know what? This isn't going to go anywhere. So either you can back up or you can leave. One of the two. Like, I'm not, you know, I know for, a f I know in my mind that if I wanted to, I could have gotten kicked, got him kicked out earlier. But again, you expect certain, not expect certain things to happen, but you kind of have to tolerate a certain amount of ignorance or stupidity because you're dealing with people that are intoxicated, if not more. So, you know, 
I let it, I, I maybe, maybe that was my bad. You know what I mean? But whatever. Um, so he was like, well, if you want to get me kicked out, then get me kicked out. I'm like, I don't want to get you kicked out, but I will if I need to. So please, you know, back up. And I, I was being, I was trying to be as nice as possible. I really was because I don't want to get, I don't want people to dislike me. And I don't want people to like think that I just get people kicked out the club. I don't do it. I just don't. You know what I mean? Because I understand. I understand. Drunk equals not really understanding what's going on. And again, like I said, I don't just think that he was drunk. I think there was other things going on. So, um, at that point, like, it's just, you know how you can just feel that something's going to happen? So, I turned to security, which was actually standing to my to my right, and I'm like, hey, I don't know what's going to happen right now, but if not, just, I need you to pay attention, because if, if something happens, I need you to be aware and on it. Like, I don't want, I don't want there to be a delay, because I, you know, whatever. He's still yapping the whole time that I'm actually talking to security. As I turn around, he, I have a cup in my hand, which is empty. I mean, it has ice in it. That's about it. He reaches down, hits the cup up. It flies. Seriously, you guys. It out. <laughs> it was pretty funny because it kind of happened in slow motion. But the ice flies all over the patio. I, I'm looking at the ice flying like, what the fuck? And everyone's looking at me as the ice is hitting them in their heads. Cause they're sitting there trying to have a good time. And um, security then jumps into action. Dane, which is a staff member there at the club, he pops up. He's like, what's going on? Is everything okay? And, like, they're trying to get him out. And he's getting irate with the security guard. And I'm telling security, I'm like, he needs to be 86. He needs to be get, he needs to get kicked the fuck out of here. Because the security guard, he was kind of new there. So he didn't really, he didn't know who I was. He didn't know who, um, he didn't know what, like, I don't know if he knew the protocol. But he's just, like, kind of handling things very, like, not as aggressively as I think other security would have handled it um when they saw such actions so i'm like you need to tell them, and i did name drop i'm like tell them diva needs this person 86 right now like over the radio i'm like tell him i'm like and he, and he says oh blah 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 blah. i'm like no say my name like you know because i know you know vern has got my back and I, again i'm not trying to like cause no drama i'm not trying to cause a scene i'm just like get him out of here it's just going to be easier just to, for him to get the fuck out night's over lights are on club later I sit, I'm outside sitting on the drunk box, for you guys know what that is, behind the door, and sitting at the drunk box, I'm Twittering, trying to reply to people that are, are hitting me up on Twitter because they saw my first tweet, and I hear commotion, but I don't, I'm here, and I figure, he already got kicked out, he's no longer going to come over here, it's him coming at me, swinging, I didn't even realize it until I saw Vern jump in between, in his path towards me, sweet. He hits her, I think. It all happens so fast. It's so crazy. Excuse me, I have makeup. And there's a few hits, and then, like, security just comes and handles it. For the record, it was not my fault. I didn't get anyone kicked out. I didn't get... Well, I did get him kicked out, but it wasn't just because. You know what I mean? I want everyone to be very aware. And I don't ask for special privileges. I don't ask for special... I don't ask for people to treat me a certain way. I don't expect people to treat me a certain way. Um, I do expect for people to respect me just as I would respect them and they would respect the person standing next to me. So, um, he's permanently 86, thank God. Um, but he really, and like he, even as they were like taking him off the property, he was still screaming shit. Like, dude, you did this. Like, <laughs> I know you're drunk. I know you're on whatever you're on, but you did this. It's not my fault. Do not come at me like that because, um... I don't like breaking nails. I was raised in the hood. I know how to handle it, but I also have a di I have a demeanor that I have to uphold as someone who is part of the club. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I can get ghetto if I need to, but it isn't going to happen at the club. That's for sure. I'll let whatever the powers that be handle it because that's not the type of person I am. I'm very... I like to think of myself as a professional, and if I were to then go down to that level, I know people probably say that should have whooped his ass, that should have did whatever. I really should have. I really probably should have. But I have more to lose than he does, obviously. So which, that's why it went down the way it did. So that's the story. And um, I really wish it was on tape. I really wish I had my cam out or something because it would have been really good to see. Especially the ice flying everywhere. That was good. But anyways, um, that's the story, you guys. So, um... Yeah, peace out.